All right, so welcome everyone to this virtual community meeting um, regarding the upcoming Ash Crescent Area Street Improvements Project. My name is Greg Robbins and I'm a project manager in the City of Fort Worth's Transportation and Public Works Department. On the call with me as well are representatives from the Fort Worth Water Department, the engineering consultant who's doing the design, and some others from uh, Transportation and Public Works. They'll be around at the end uh, of the presentation to help you answer questions, help me answer questions uh, if needed. So this presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of the project that's happening in your area and give the community a chance to provide feedback or ask questions um, about the project and how you'll be impacted. So here's the agenda of what I hope to cover in my brief presentation. I'll be talking about the project as a whole, providing a summary of the improvements on each street associated with this project. Uh, discussing the project schedule moving forward and blocking off some time at the end for your questions and your input. <clears throat> so first we'll talk about the overall scope of the improvements associated with this project. This project is part of the proposed and upcoming 2022 bond election, which will be voted on in May of this year. The city manager and city council have kindly provided us some funding to start the design of this project and several others associated with the bond in anticipation of the bond passing here in a couple of months. So this project uh, includes eight streets in the Ash Crescent area that are slated for reconstruction. So they are Ann Street from Avenue C to Avenue D, Ash Crescent Street from East Vickery Boulevard to Avenue E, Avenue B from South Riverside Drive to Ash Crescent Street, Avenue C from Ash Crescent Drive uh, to MLK Freeway, Avenue D from Ash Crescent Drive to MLK Freeway, uh, Bells East Terrace from Avenue C to Avenue D, um, Elmwood Avenue from Bells East Terrace to MLK Freeway, and Uvalde Street from uh, East Richmond Avenue to MLK Freeway. So on the next couple of slides, I'll be discussing the existing conditions present on these streets and give a street-by-street street breakdown of the proposed improvements. So this slide shows the existing conditions of these streets and why they were slated for reconstruction. You can see from the pictures, the issues that we will be correcting will include uh, damaged asphalt pavement, uh, missing or broken curbs and gutters, damaged or missing sidewalks, damaged or missing concrete driveways, as well as replacing or upgrading the water and sewer utilities under the street. So next I'll go uh, through each street individually and discuss the improvements that are expected to be made. <clears throat> On Ash Crescent Street, uh, we will be replacing the existing pavement and concrete curbs uh, or adding curbs where none are existing. We'll also be replacing the existing driveways with new concrete drives. Uh, these new driveways will be a minimum of 11 foot in width or will match whatever your existing driveway is if it's wider than that. Um, Ash Crescent will be getting new five foot sidewalks on both sides of the street. Uh, as far as water and sewer improvements, we'll be replacing this existing eight inch water um, with a new eight inch. Now, a lot of the improvements are, are similar on each street, so forgive me for repeating myself. Uh, but on Avenue B, we'll be upgrading the existing six inch water to an eight inch. As far as paving improvements, we'll be uh, doing you know, new pavement with new concrete curbs and also replacing the concrete driveways uh, along that street. On Avenue C, we'll be upgrading the existing six inch water to eight inch, um, new pavement, new concrete curbs and gutters, uh, new concrete driveways, and Avenue C is getting five foot concrete sidewalks on both sides of the street. On Avenue D, we'll uh, be upsizing the existing six inch water to an eight inch uh, for paving, new, new pavement, new concrete curbs, new concrete driveways, um, new concrete sidewalks on both sides of the street from Ash Crescent to Belzees, and then a new uh, five foot sidewalk on the south side of the road from Belzees to MLK Freeway. On Elmwood, uh, we'll be installing a new eight inch water line um, new pavement, new concrete curbs and gutters, new concrete driveways, and a new concrete sidewalk on the north side of the street. 
Uh, Uvalde Street will be upsizing the existing six inch water to an eight inch and also replacing the existing eight inch sewer in the street. Um, new pavement, of course, new concrete um, driveways and a new uh, concrete sidewalk on both sides of the street. Uh, on Ann Street, we will be upgrading the existing six inch water to an eight inch, uh, new concrete, uh, I'm sorry, new, new pavement with uh, concrete curbs, new driveways, uh, replacing the existing driveways. Um, and it's also, also worth noting that this street, uh, Ann and the next one, Belzees, um, are being funded by the water department. They're not, uh, not technically part of the 2022 bond, but they are included in this project. Um, yeah, Belzees Terrace, upgrading the existing six inch water to eight inch. Uh, new pavement, new concrete curbs, replacing existing driveways with concrete, and like I said, the water department is funding this street. So this slide and the next one shows something of what you can expect the finished product to look like once the construction is finished. Uh, we'll be providing a full depth reconstruction of the existing pavement and rebuilding existing driveways uh, with concrete. Uh, we'll also be providing concrete sidewalks on, on many of the streets, and which will include new ADA accessible ramps where they are needed. So next, I'll speak a little bit about the anticipated schedule for the rest of the project moving forward. The dates shown here are what we estimate going forward for the project milestones and it is, is kind of based on the voting date for bond approval. Uh, this project is currently in design. Our, our engineering designer who's on the call with us is, is currently working on the design of the project, about to finish up. Uh, we're currently about 90% of the way finished. We received their 90% plans just last week and we're currently reviewing them and making final changes and adjustments that we need um, to get the, the plan set finished. You can see the next item on the schedule is the 2022 bond vote. Um, which I wanted to remind you about so we can get funding to make the improvements that I showed you earlier. Um, after that, if all goes to plan, we plan on advertising for bids sometime in June of this year and receiving bids from contractors about a month later in July. It takes a couple of months for the award process to complete, so we hope to get City Council approval by October and then award the contract to the, a qualified contractor by November. After that, the last step is the construction itself, which will most likely start after the first of the year in 2023 and last about a year. The, the, to the total length of construction we expect to last about a year. Um, if you would like any additional information about the 2022 bond program, you can go to the link uh, that is here on the screen and find out more information about funding, the included pro projects, uh, and any other items of interest. Um, I'll stay on this page for just a few minutes so that anyone who wants to write down the, the link to the website uh, to information about the bond can do so. Um, alternatively, if you just go to Google and type in City of Fort Worth 2022 bond, it'll be the first link that pops up if you wanted to, to view it that way. But like I said, I'll stay on this page for just a few minutes, but this does take me to the end of my presentation. So at this time, if there's any questions that you have about uh, improvements on your street, in front of your house, um, now's the time. You can type them in the chat box, or if you like, go ahead and unmute yourself, and, and I'll take your questions that way. Yes, I, we've uh, just moved into a house on Avenue C, and as a part of the building, the sidewalk is brand new. Will you mm -hmm. replace that sidewalk or match it? So, I, I, if it's the house I'm thinking of, I believe we spoke to you the other day you uh, when we were out on. Yep. So, um, I, I think if I remember correctly, and someone from the consultant can can chime in, but. Uh, it's brand new sidewalk and and I believe brand new driveway. So uh, if possible, we were at least going to save uh, save the sidewalk there because it was brand new. Great. Right. We would prefer for it to not be disrupted. Uh, and how does the how does the project disrupt the neighborhood when you're repaving the roads? Will we get advance notice to know when it's going to be hard to get in and out? And what kind of 
timeline is the road going to be torn up? Like, how long do you expect the road to be torn up in front of an individual's house? So, um, we'll know more about the construction uh, timeline once we once we get a little closer to construction. We'll actually have another meeting uh, where we where we have the contractor here and they can discuss the the, the details of the schedule. Uh, but in general, when it you we're talking about disruptions to to you, um, you'll be notified before things like you know uh, water shutoffs or your driveways being replaced. You know, things like that, that you'll, you'll be notified before that happens so that you can make plans. And is there any remedy? I mean, to make plans, <clears throat> do you just park your car someplace else in the neighborhood and walk to it? Or is there, I guess I'm just trying to wrap my head around how we're going to be able to come and go when the neighborhood is sort of covered with, when all the ways in and out are, are basically blocked. Sure. Um, well, we, we hope to never completely block off the street, um, you know, but th there will be situations where, where if a, maybe not yours because you have a brand new driveway, but, you know, uh, for other people, when replacing your driveway, there's a few days when you just won't be able to access it. So the, the, the best course of action is usually to, you know, speak to a neighbor or something or across the street and see if you can park. Um, in their driveway for a few days, something like that. But, and I also wanna uh, mention that, yes, I showed that the, pro this, the, the project was gonna be in construction for a year, but that's a year to do the eight streets that are associated with the project. So it won't be one year of your street completely torn up. Um, the construction happens in phases. Um, usually utilities come first. So, you know, the water, the sewer will be done. Um, will be done first, and then the things like curbs and gutters and sidewalks will be done next, and finally the last thing that'll be done is the paving. And it kind of it kind of comes in phases um, uh, 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 during the project. But uh, yeah, when I say the project is under construction for a year, I don't mean necessarily that you won't have access to your to your house for a year. Certainly, certainly. I just have seen neighborhoods, other neighborhoods in Dallas, where the streets are basically removed for weeks at a time, and the coming and going is challenging. And um, I want to either prepare for the challenge well in advance, or just being forewarned as forearmed. I just knowing that it's what it exactly is going to be um, sure. in the lead up is going to be really, really helpful. Okay. Uh, my other question is about what the quality of the road is going to be. Is it just going to be another asphalt road or is there going to be an improvement to the actual street itself? We have a lot of construction vehicles that pass through this neighborhood. Uh, people who work here drive large trucks and carry trailers, often with equipment on it. And so it's probably not, you know, another a replaced asphalt street is not going to last terrifically long i wouldn't expect but i don't know i don't i mean i don't really know so so um as of as of right now the project is being designed as an asphalt uh replacement uh we won't know we won't know the final uh, material until we get a little closer to construction very good well just to be advised that lots of big trucks with equipment there's a lot of people working construction around here and they bring it's it's not uh, people building in the neighborhood. It's people who live in the neighborhood who have large vehicles that are dragging stuff around. And so there's a that is what one of the reasons I think the roads are. Increasingly worse around here is those, you know, as they degrade and then those vehicles go over them and you can just see it ripple up up and down the road. Okay, but I yeah, thank we'll you very that. much for presenting this it's really this is good to know and i'm glad that uh, i'm glad that you've made this available not a problem thank you for your question thank you for attending as well Is there any other questions? Like I said, you can either unmute yourself and, and ask, or you can place it in the chat. 
and I will get to it that way. <clears throat> All right, well, um, if there's no more questions, um, I, I'll go ahead and wrap up the meeting. Thank you. Uh, so much to those of you that took the time to attend today. This is my contact information here on the screen. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me by phone or email if you have any follow-up questions or comments or something you, you know, didn't think to ask or, or thought about it later to ask. Uh, feel free to give me a call um, about about any issues related to this project, whether issues about the design or construction. Um, that's what I'm here for. So you can give me a call, and I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, I'll leave this slide up for just a, a little bit, so if you want to have a chance to copy down the information, copy down my phone number, copy down my email address, you can. Um, if there's nothing else, I hope everyone has a good evening. Thank you again for attending, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.